Good morning, crew. It is Friday, the 15th of March, and I have an update for yesterday's activities. Not a red letter day yesterday. Um, uh, I actually, starting out, I didn't sleep very well. So when I made that video, uh, yesterday's video, I was going on, I don't know, three and a half hours of sleep, maybe four, um, just awake all night, stewing. I think it, hopefully it was the last, cross my fingers, of the jet lag. Um, but in the middle of the night, I got up <clears throat> at like 1.30 in the morning and I made a list of things to do um, that uh, we still haven't worked on. I did check off uh, kind of three and a half of them yesterday, which was, was good that I made the list in the first place. Um, granted, uh, um, a couple of things that I checked off were just like double checking things to make sure that I wasn't missing something. Um, anyway, got up in the morning and as I mentioned yesterday's uh, video, uh, I got up at five um, and was on the internet, went to make breakfast, came back from breakfast and the internet was no longer functioning. So we haven't had internet since then. Um, so we've hotspotted our phones. We've got enough data on the phones to last us a few days. Um, and I was actually able to upload yesterday's uh, uh, internet on, or, or excuse me, yesterday's video using the hotspot. The interesting thing is here on the ground floor of the house, there's just so much rock in the house that um, really, you know, we don't have cell service in the house uh, to speak of. Like I have to take my phone over by the window over here to get anything and then it kind of is intermittent over there. So what we did was we moved up to the, the uh, second floor back bedroom um, and set up, uh, I set up a desk in there where I've been working and Sarah sat on the bed and, and worked and we had really good internet reception up there and I was able to do everything I needed from that room, which was great. Actually, we have moved to that room. That's, that's, I think we're going to be staying in there the rest of the trip. We've slept in every room. I guess we didn't sleep in the front bedroom because it has uh, twin bed or single beds, twin signal, a single, I don't know. I don't understand the bed terms. Anyway, so we are now in that, what we consider kind of the best room in the house, and it's got a, a good bed in it. So um, we're in there, I think, for the duration, unless something changes. Sarah went out for a run first thing in the morning, which she does most days, and um, she came back and she had a note from our neighbor, and the contractors apparently yesterday had staged some garbage to be taken in between the wall and the front of the house. So they put it outside the house. And our neighbor wrote us a note saying, please don't put garbage in front of the house. It ruins, you know, it affects my business. And so she's running a, a bed and breakfast. And the funny thing is that Sarah had been trying for, for like, I don't know, the last five days or something to take her some cookies and introduce us to her. And she'd never been, been there. So, uh, so it was kind of unfortunate that that was our first interaction with her. However, um, Sarah and I went for a walk um, after her run, and it, you know it was it's yesterday. The last couple of days have been really rainy and blustery, and so we uh, we walked I don't know out kind of south uh, east of town, or not we weren't outside of town, but you know southeast from where we are. And uh, we found a great little trail along the River Seant, um, which I'll cut in some footage here if I can get it off my phone, um, and, uh, and had a really lovely walk. There may come a day that we will walk this path. This is not that day. And when we got back, Sarah's like, I'm just gonna take her some cookies. I came in and I decided I was gonna go do a cold water immersion in Manai Strait. Um, and uh, so Sarah took uh, Jan, our neighbor, some cookies and turned out just lovely. You know, she was wonderful and they had a great talk and Jan invited her in. Um, 
and so uh, that all all's well that ends well, I guess. And then um, I went down just to the and I was gonna go thinking I could just go in the water right, you know, off the wall here, but apparently there's no swimming on this section. There's signs that say no swimming, and so I went down by the marina, just to the kind of northeast of us, and um, and I got in the water there. I know I was on a Zoom call with you, Karu, when I did that, or not a Zoom call, a WhatsApp video ch chat. Um, so you took a couple screenshots of that, which I'll cut in here of me getting in and out of the uh, of the of the Manai Strait, which was fun. <clears throat> so then we came back and we moved all the junk from the front of the house into the tunnel. And we were supposed to have, Vaughn was supposed to come back yesterday and finish the demo of the bathrooms. Didn't make it. Carl called us or, or messaged Sarah to let her know that, um, that he wasn't coming. So good communication there, which is good. Um, now, other stuff, not much else to talk about um, uh, from yesterday, but I did, in fact, you know, one of the things that I had on my list to do is the deck, when it's rainy, I went up on the deck, I don't know when it was raining the other day, and it's super slippery. Um, and it's just kind of slimy and the stairs are slippery. So um, it really needs to be pressure washed. And I thought rather than pay someone to pressure wash it, I bought a pressure washer, which um, it, it just, I was just thinking it's, it's going to need to be done regularly and it seems silly to pay someone to do it if every six months I'm going to want to do it anyway. Um, every time we come, maybe that'll be like the first thing I do is go pressure wash the deck and maybe clean up the patio area out here. Um, so I ordered a pressure washer and um, I also ordered some friction tape to put on the steps. So these four inch strips of, of you know, essentially sandpaper with, with uh, adhesive on the back. So I'm going to have that here. And when we get a good day, I'm going to go out and clean. Well, I, I'll probably pressure wash the deck on a bad day, um, or pressure wash the, the stairs as well. And then when we get out there, or, or excuse me, when we get a good day, I'm going to go out there and then put down friction tape on each stair. Um, and hopefully that will make everything better. I don't know if it'll stay or not, but you know, it's like 30 pounds for two rolls of friction tape. So, um, the other thing we did was, uh, we went down to, there's a, uh, uh, something called the air, air ambulance charity shop. Um, and they're actually going to come here and take away some of our furniture, cross your fingers, hopefully. But we walked down there. Sarah really needs like, a an, a chair she can sit in in the evening. Um, in Pendleton, you know, she has problems with uh, with sciatica, and having a chair where she can recline and and uh, and kind of uh, relax, uh, get get the angles right for all of that is important. She's got one in Pendleton, so we went down and bought a thrift shop recliner for her. Um, so that was our day yesterday. Um, the day today. Um, promises to be full of exciting things. So hopefully tomorrow's video will be more exciting. That's my story. I'm sticking to it.